Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be going over day number seven of Tampa Bay Buccaneers OTAs. There's a few things to kind of dive into today. This is all per Greg Allman of Fox Sports, by the way. The first one here, Mike Evans, who wasn't at the first OTA practices open to the media, is there with Chris Godwin working with wide receivers coach Brian McClendon. You then have Kalaja Kansi saying that he is five pounds heavier this year at 285. That's a good weight, in my opinion, but we'll play close to the same weight in his second year, so 280. Uh, that's great. I think that adding more weight, you know, it's going to be all, all muscle, if I, if, I, if I had to guess. Uh, so, Kalijah Kansi is going to be a guy who is going to have a little bit more power to his game now, which... I'm never going to be opposed to that. Kalaj Kansi is a guy who a lot of people are expecting to have a big year here coming into year number two, myself included. It's good that he's bulking up a little bit and is going to be able to add a little bit more power to his game as well. Uh, you then have Bryce Hall. Uh, you know, discussing his friendship with the uh, Jordan Whitehead. They did spend some time with the Jets together, two seasons together, after Whitehead left the Buccaneers to go to the New York Jets, and they are rejoining forces yet again here in Tampa Bay. Um, we talked a lot about, you know, Jordan Whitehead coming in and Bryce Hall being in the mix as well at cornerback, and it seems like these two are going to have a very interesting you know, chemistry together, right? And I think it could also help out a lot with the communication of the back half of that defense as well in the secondary. And Baker Mayfield, you know, I'm not going to play these clips. Um, if you guys do want to go check out the entirety of the clips, go check out Greg Almond on Twitter. But it seems like Baker did discuss building chemistry, learning a new offense, which is interesting the way that that's phrased because it's new, new-ish, right? It's not necessarily 100% new to Baker Mayfield per se, but um, it is newer to a lot of other guys. Because again, Mayfield and Liam Cohen, the Bucks' current offense coordinator, worked together with the LA Rams for a month. So it is still new-ish to Baker Mayfield, but it's certainly newer to everybody else on the offense that doesn't have a, a um, you know, any type of connection with Liam Cohen going forward. Another interesting note here, Bucks tackle Tristan Wirfs is uh, expected to be at mandatory minicamp next week. We'll be covering that in separate videos here on the channel as well. Now, uh, Greg does not know what his participation level will be, but that's good news. You get to see Greg, or you get to see, you, you do get to see Greg Allman out there, but you get to see Tristan Wirfs out there as well. That is uh, all good in my opinion. Keep on going. Uh, Todd Bowles asked about the Bucks waving Devin Tompkins. He said the door is open for a potential return. He was injured and we needed some healthy bodies. Though the Bucks haven't signed anyone to the roster spot open by his departure, he has a minor hamstring injury. Also, the Bucks have two openings on their 90 man roster right now. I didn't know they had. Um, I didn't know they had two open roster spots. I mean, I know they had one with Devin Tompkins being released. I didn't know they had another one. So. Maybe they'll add somebody else. Maybe they won't. I'm not too sure. But uh, nothing off the field. Nothing mentioned. There was another note here that I wanted to see. It was regarding, let's see, Bucks have two openings. If they wanted more healthy bodies at the position, they could sign two guys. There was something else Greg Allman had said. Let me see if I can go to replies and see what's going on there. Uh, Levante Day was in street clothes. I believe it was something about just the Bucks, just possibly like their other options that they have there at the returning game. And we discussed that in a separate video about how there's a lot of different options there now, right? You have Trey Palmer, you have Jalen McMillan, you have Bucky Irving, you have Chase Edmonds. All those different types of guys are interesting return options where you just have an abundance of them. Maybe they just didn't view Devin Tompkins as you know, a, a quality enough depth receiver um, to, to warrant a roster spot, you know, as just a pure returner when you have other guys you can do returning jobs and also be quality depth as well. I don't know. I'm just spitballing, throwing out some stuff out there. But um, 
it is still interesting nonetheless. But that's kind of some of your notes there from uh, day number seven of Bucks OTAs. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. If you guys do want to get the thoughts and opinions of Baker Mayfield and, and Bryce Hall and all of them um, from those two clips, go check out Greg Almond's work on Twitter. He does an excellent job there for Fox Sports as well. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.